Hi lads, Andrew here. Most of you probably know me as Blair White's blog at this stage. In this video I'm going to be trying something a little bit different instead of just sitting in front of the camera reading off tips. It's going to be a bit of a vlogging experiment. It's the Thursday evening right now and Friday morning, tomorrow morning, I'm going to be heading off to the Cheltenham November meeting for the Friday and Saturday car, going over with my dad early tomorrow. And I'm really looking forward to it and hopefully I'm going to be able to capture a bit of that while I'm over there. It's a little bit of an experiment. As you guys know, I don't particularly do this much on my channel, but this is something that particularly could become part of it in due course if you guys enjoy it. So I'm just giving you the update here on the Thursday evening because I know it's going to be a very early one tomorrow morning, so I don't know whether I'll get an update in tomorrow morning explaining it all as good as I can now. So yeah, hopefully I will see you guys tomorrow morning and hopefully it's going to be a really, really good weekend away at Cheltenham. Morning lads, how are things? It's quarter past four, Friday morning. Bloody early start, but we all do it for the love of Cheltenham. Alright lads, how are things? A little update here, all good. Arrived in Cheltenham this morning on the half six flight. Jeez, it was an early one. But anyway, all good now. Arrived, I'm now in, my, uh, now in the Airbnb. Just at, it's around 10 o'clock now. We're going to head off for a bit of breakfast and then heading up to the course. We're going to get up early enough. Uh, first race at 12.40. It's a tricky six race car today. I must say I don't have that many fancies. Uh, very strong fancies anyway. I think in the novice chase, uh, there's a lot of talk about this Mr. Whipped. But I'm going to take him on with White Moon for Colin Tizard and Harry Copton. Or sorry, Puppy Power even. Uh, not Harry Copton. Uh, but... I think he should go close. It was a very good or very promising novice hurdler last year. Uh, you know, in the, in the uh, cross country chase, you know, I'd have to back on sentiment to Tiger Roll more than anything else. Um, but he does have to give a stone away, I suppose. In the novice hurdle, the concluding race, I thought Coolanley was an interesting one if we can get round safely. Hopefully, he can go close. And and the second race is probably my big bet of the day will be Dostal Phil. I think he's a ridiculously well handicapped horse. A good second at Utoxeter last time to a promising Dan Skelton horse. The fifth and sixth of that race have subsequently won at Hereford and the sixth came second at Exeter uh, in the middle of the week. So running off 120, he should be very well in. Anyway, I'll update you when I get to the track. I'll see you later. Some place. Race this afternoon, the still playing sections. Novices still chase all winners. Number one, Ken Berrabal. And following that great recovery race after the second half. And congratulations to the new jockey, Mark Rose. One up. Tiger roll there, keep Tunnel on board. What a great horse, what a great horse. Kulamu for Paddy Brennan, and for a treble on the day. It's Paddy, should go Dalla well, be by hopefully. Rain ride on there, Pim, Mel Feely. Go on the two! Go on Kulamu! Go on Paddy! Go on Paddy! See you now Paddy! Oh, Paddy. oh, Paddy Brennan! Oh, Paddy! Oh, Paddy. Oh, Paddy. Oh, Paddy. things just back from the first day uh, sitting in now just gonna wait rest up maybe for a bit and then out for dinner and now uh, see a few points afterwards in Cheltenham hopefully enjoy the atmosphere uh, around the town fantastic day one personally it was a tricky day as I expected it would be uh, Kieran Landley kind of delivered the goods for us in the last also I count Mirabel uh, in one of the other races although I did think our other horse White Moon was gonna come and win his race until he fell 
uh, but sure look that's that's the game we watch the game we love uh, we go on to day two I'll have uh, probably more info about day two's card and who I'll be back in, in the morning um, obviously that's not great for you in this vlog but just I'm kind of taking you through the weekend more and uh, hopefully you guys are still enjoying it at this stage and uh, yeah I'll see you guys either tonight with points or tomorrow morning cheers morning lads how are things uh, back now it's Saturday morning and hopefully on for another big day unfortunately I'm just staying for the Friday and Saturday card and I'll be home tomorrow morning looks like a very good card though I'm really looking forward to it looking forward especially to seeing the world's end jump in the three mile novice chase I know it's a short price but probably the short price favourite of the whole three day meeting that you might want to take and uh, in the big races the three mile three race I like a bit of Callot Mad uh, each way and perhaps Coney Gree each way and in the big race itself Mr Whitaker and Baron Alco for me I was all over Benatar but he's subsequently become a non-runner and listed handicap hurdle perhaps Anteros each way loves the loves the race loves the track and should go well over three miles in the two mile five Christmas in April for Colin Tizard who are running very well at the moment at around eight and then of course WP Mullins II he runs Royal Illusion in the last that's a lob on job for us <laughs> Chance here for Jerry McGrath, followed by Barry G. That's a big one here for Mick Shannon, Mr. Whitaker. Adrian Heston on top today. Good luck, mate. Great to see these horses so close up. She is number one, the coach, uh, colours of Birch, Janovich and Dole and Brother Hughes called it uh, the Diablo Jack. Alright lads, how are things? It's been another long day, finished off day two till the November meeting. Unfortunately, we'll be heading home tomorrow. I uh, have to be home for things uh, Sunday evening, unfortunately, so I couldn't be able to stay the third day. But a cracking day, the second day. Another struggle to find winners. Fortunately enough, I found Baron Alco in the big race, which is obviously great. Uh, apart from that, it was a tough, tough day, but absolutely superb day out at Cheltenham again. Sun shining. It's a great atmosphere there. Then we went on um, to a pub afterwards. Had great tunes. It's a great bit of fun, great bit of atmosphere there. Uh, then came home, watched the Irish New Zealand game, Ireland obviously won and then out for a few more points after that. So it was a cracking day all in all. Hope you guys have enjoyed this, probably will give you a bit of an update tomorrow morning. Uh, just heading home, but yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this. And uh, yeah, that's the update for day two. What a day it was. What a two days it has been at Cheltenham, really would recommend. <laughs>
finally back home here Sunday five o'clock and uh, yeah mi obviously missing out day three was a bit disappointing but first two days at Cheltenham the November meeting were absolutely class I really couldn't recommend this meeting enough I know I said this last night but just in terms of getting that Cheltenham experience without potentially having to kind of throw yourself in the deep end of the festival with the 60, 70,000 people there, there's around 30,000 a day at this meeting. You know, it's good quality racing. It's tough. It's probably actually tougher than the festival itself to find winners uh, because such difficult handicaps and, you know, horses were having their first run of the season, stuff like that. But, uh, you yeah, know, really enjoyed it. Hope you guys enjoyed this um, new venture. I suppose it was an experiment. It mightn't work. It might work. I'm not so sure. If it does work, I might end up doing it kind of over the Leopardstown Christmas Festival, then the Leopardstown Racing Festival in around February time, if you guys are keen. If you are keen, please do make sure to like the video and subscribe down below. Obviously, there's going to be more preview videos, more of the normal videos coming up soon as well. Uh, so if you don't like this sort of stuff, don't you worry, uh, the normal stuff will be back soon as well. But until next time, best of luck. Hi.